Hey, George. What's up, Ken? I was trying to do some coloring book SVGs myself, and I found these great My Little Pony drawings. Those are going to make great SVG files, Ken. Well, they come out okay, but when you cut them out and glue them together, there's so many layers, they're so thick. And some of these little details, they just don't come out. You know, Ken, with Inkscape, it's really easy to make things like this work out. And with Inkscape and a little knowledge, you can make stuff like this. Whoa! No brony. So today we're going to use the pen tool, but let's talk about all the drawing tools for a minute. If you come over here, there's the pencil, the pen, and the calligraphy pen. The pencil does what you'd think it does. It lets you draw freehand and then turns your drawing into a vector graphic. The pen lets you draw straight lines as well as curved lines. And if you connect to the origin node, it creates an object. And the calligraphy pen, well, it's kind of like the pencil. It lets you draw freehand, but it kind of looks like you're using a calligraphy pen. And then it turns it into a vector graphic. So here's part of a coloring book page for My Little Pony. As you can see, I've already created a path outline for it and left the original bitmap image underneath. The diamonds in the hindquarter of the My Little Pony really didn't come out. So we're going to use the pen tool to draw them in. So we're going to zoom in, select the pen, and start at the top of a diamond. If you click, that's your point of origin, and you're just going to trace around the diamond and click on the points. And then go back to the origin and click on it, and you've created your diamond. Now, if you don't want a black outline around your diamond, you're going to come down to the color palette, select a color, hold down shift, and click. Let go of shift, and click again, and it'll fill it in. Pretty simple, huh? Let's do the other diamonds. Your point of origin, trace around it, back to the point of origin, color the line with the shift key, let go of the shift key, click again, and fill it in. Wasn't that simple? So this is the same My Little Pony picture. I've taken the original bitmap and moved it up to the side for reference as I'm coloring, and I've colored it in. So let's talk about exclusion. What exclusion does is remove parts from other parts of an SVG file. I think a better way to describe it is it punches a hole through layers so the color from an under layer th shows through. So let's zoom in on the horse's head. If you click, you can see that the nostril, the eye, and these eyelashes and this ear detail are all separate images or layers. So if we were to cut this out right now, we would get them all as separate pieces of black paper to glue on top of the pink paper for the head of the pony. What we want to do is punch a hole through the head of the pink pony so the black under layer shows through or use exclusion to do that. So if you select the nostril, hold down the shift key and do the eye, the eyelashes, and the ear detail. And then you're going to want to select the pony's head, because that's what we want to punch through. Go to Path, select Exclusion. And now, all the detail or lines around them have been removed, because now they're all part of the head piece. So if you were to click on the eye again and move it, you're really moving the black underlayer. See how they're all cut out now? Then just do Control Z to undo the move. That's what I do to make sure that the things have been cut out correctly. 
What you can also do is you can cut out the diamonds. So if you select the diamonds, shift to do multi-select, and then select the hind corner of the pony, path, exclusion, they're cut out of the hind quarters. Now I don't have to put purple diamonds on the hind quarters. Maybe I can use stickles or something to give it a shine. Remember when we did Marvin? Let's take a look. Here's Marvin, and I've colored some of his parts purple. So this purple part should have been a hole in the original image that wasn't cut out. And this is a line on his chest, which would have been a small black piece of paper to glue on top of. I decided not to do it until this how-to to show you how to use exclusion. So if you were to select this, and then his shirt, path, exclusion, it cut a hole into the red so you can see the black underlayer. If you select this, and then select the black outline, path, exclusion, it cut a hole in the black outline or black underlayer so you could see through. You can use exclusion for a multitude of different things, whether you just want to minimize the number of layers you have in your piece, or maybe to do something like we did with the diamonds to cut things out so you know where they go because you want to add something special, like stickles or maybe some rubies or something. So there you have a little bit about the pen tool and the exclude feature. You should find a couple images online and just play with them so you get a feel of how to use it. It can be a little intimidating at first, but once you play with it for a little bit, you'll see that it's not as hard as you would think. So we're giving you the same images George used in his tutorial, so that way you can follow along and use the exact same images and follow along with his steps. We really appreciate the overwhelming response we've gotten with these how-to videos. We really weren't expecting it. So we decided to maybe extend the series a little bit longer to help you guys learn more stuff that you can do with coloring book pages. We're learning a lot as we're making these tutorials and playing around with Inkscape. So we thought we could share some even more of that with you. If you have any other ideas about Inkscape or things you would like to see us demonstrate, let us know in the comments and we'll be glad to help out. So we appreciate you taking the time to subscribe to our channel, as well as liking and sharing our video. It really means a lot to us. And we have over 100 subscribers now, so we'll be doing a giveaway. Woo! More information on that soon. So, until next week, or probably sooner, we'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye. Bye.